Everything about being a Grim amplifies everything Nick goes through. Well, you know what? Throughout the seasons, I wonder just how much sleep he's lost, and how little he's been able to get. Just food for thought. Welcome to the heart of the stories we tell. My name is Rob, and tonight I will be reviewing... Grim, the final chapter. And you know what? Tonight's episode started with making me scratch my head. Does Renard really not know what's going on? I thought he did. Oh well. With the border between life and death getting even screwier, and the parts of whatever's calling out to Nick getting even worse, and of course everything going on with Juliet, I think that we're definitely building towards the end of the show in a good way. And I'm kind of wondering how this is all going to go down. Will it be one climactic fight with Renard, or will Renard be back to being a good guy? Because he kind of was for most of the series. Well, for now, let's throw this up there and get this started. So once again, it's stop. Spoiler time. Bah, da, na, na. There's part of me that loves when shows do this, when they realize just how absurd they've gotten. So, do you think it could be a normal type of criminal or a normal type of crime? No, it's Vesson. Of course it's Vesson. And that was really the opening part. Well, after we found out that Monroe and Rosalie are having triplets, which, if you remember correctly, the little child of the corn told them already. But, all in all, the episode is mostly about a monster of the week plot. And you know what? I don't mind that so much. It's a little bit filler, but I kind of like the throwback, because that's what the show started as, a monster of the week plot with an ever-running subplot. Now, yes, we still got more information about the stick, and we'll talk more about that in a minute, but... The main thrust was this creature that comes up out of nowhere once every couple of years. Now, they dropped the name Dionysus, and they used that in True Blood, too, so I'm familiar with that particular Greek myth, the uh, god of sex and drug and rock and roll. But the idea of it being a cockroach kind of threw me for a loop. First of all, because, oh, I hate bugs, I hate bugs, I hate bugs, especially cockroaches, I never want to see one. And also because the special effects just didn't seem up to par with what this show normally does. I was more than a little disappointed. However, I can't see the connection. Why would it be a cockroach or Dionysus? I mean, again, god of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Not god of ooey gooey survive even the apocalypse. But okay, that plot line didn't really go far because of course, you know, being a grim... He slayed him. I'm much more concerned with the ongoing plots. What's going on with Renard? What's going on with Eve slash well, Juliet? And what's going on with the entire thing with the, like I said, child of the corn? Now, the stick itself is still showing up as a mystery, but the fact that Eve wanted to stay in the cubbyhole and be near it, the fact that the daughter was able to sense all these different symbols that she drew... I'm still going with the fact that there's something bad that happened, like a veil has been lifted, like something between death and our reality. So maybe a piece of the cross that Jesus died on, maybe a echo of the fact that he died and was resurrected is what brought Nick back, but is also what's creating a hole between hell and earth. I do wonder, when they designed that, orig that house that they're living in now, if that tunnel system was always meant to be this, some sort of metaphor for the passage to the underworld, or if that's just a happy coincidence when they found out they were only getting half a season for this final season. Either way, tonight's episode was everything great about Grimm, I just hope we don't see it too often, because we're getting near the end, and I want to see some sort of climactic build-up. What about all of you? What do you think? Would you like to see a climactic build-up and a final big war like we were promised in the original previews? Or are you happy with a few more Monsters of the Week and a happily ever after? Let me know down in the comments. And in the meantime, this is the part of the episode where I need to ask you to like and share this video so that you can help me build this community, and then we can join me back here next time to walk through the heart of the stories we tell. Thanks for watching.